My name is Rocky Parkerton. I am a CNC machinist by trade, but I started a prototype manufacturing company uh, a few years ago. We're in Tucson, Arizona, and we've, we've got a 7,000 square foot uh, facility, and we're working on expanding. For the last three years, we've been dealing with trying to uh, manage what happens to our used MJF material that we can't or couldn't get rid of uh, in an ethical manner. We have uh, seven 55 gallon drums right now, and I would estimate each one of those seven drums probably weighs 130 kilograms. I didn't want microplastics going into the ground. So we were looking for a way to reuse it and it took three years to find 3 Devo. <laughs> I've been pretty religiously every month or so hopping on for an hour onto Google for the last three years, trying to find a, a solution. And I had found probably close to a dozen companies that do pelletization uh, for plastics. But anytime they saw the MJF material, they didn't even want to talk to us. They, they just immediate pass. And 3 Devo is the first one to say, sure, we'll give it a try. You know? sent a, uh, a pretty large kilo sized package of the material uh, to Europe and they went through a couple of different uh, phases of testing on it and everything seems to have brought us to this point where we're actually making filament today so yay. We can make two spools a day pretty readily right now. And I have a feeling we'll probably be able to push it up to three after we play with the process a little bit. So after talking to the R&D team, we, we posed our, our next uh, problem, which is, you know, just a fun problem. Because we have such a large quantity of material on hand and we want to be able to process that without it being out in open air. We want to keep it in an enclosed system from the barrel to the, the 3 d go extruder. We're going to have to develop uh, a different hopper system for the machine and a transport system to get from the barrel to the to the top of the machine. It doesn't at all to me seem like an insurmountable problem. It's just a matter of just doing it and it's gonna work. Um, the, the hard problem was finding 3 Devo and, and a machine that would actually not seize up or break down. <laughs> these extruders beside the first one but you know that that seems like a, a good problem to have. Mm -hmm.